everyone, welcome back to Enchanted by You. My name is Cassandra and I hope you guys are doing great. Um, today we're going to talk about something a little crazy though. I have a friend over at Life Sci-Fi and his name is Tim. If you haven't checked his channel out, really recommend it. The work that he does with the paranormal is amazing. I wanted to help him out though because he has recently done a paranormal investigation and things have gotten a little out of hand. So what has happened is Tim has a Dybbuk box that he got five years ago and he was at the Haunted Wells house with a couple of his friends and he opened this Dybbuk box. Now there was a crazy picture of a lady in it as well as a whole bunch of just random other really weird creepy things. When he was at the Wells house and opened up this Dybbuk box a lot of spooky things started happening. But that's not where we need to go right now. You can always, of course, go check out his video. I'll leave links in the description of that video. But I want to get to the video that he has made more recently. And the video that he made recently was that Dybbuk Box has been at the Wells house now for five years. And he has wanted to open this Dybbuk Box back up and do an investigation on it. Now, he didn't want this box to be tainted with say a haunted house or anything like that so instead of going to a spooky place to open it he actually opened it in his garage crazy right yeah i i wouldn't even open it in a haunted house let alone my house but he had a couple friends over and they opened up this box and then things got really crazy you can go check out his his show but he they actually captured like an entity on film they did a spirit box session all kinds of things were happening they did a ouija board session and then really bad stuff started happening to tim and his friends i, I mean i can't even explain it. you guys are just gonna have to go check out the video um one of the things that was brought up in this video was the mention of paimon and paimon is actually a demon. I don't know how familiar you are with your demons, however, he is actually one of the 72 demons that it was said to be controlled by King Solomon. That is one of the most important things with him is that he requires respect. In fact, he requires that people call him King Paimon. He prefers to be called King. He's also considered to be the the teacher of sciences, of secret things, a lot of wisdom there. At the end of the day, he's still a demon. Now, Tim has been having a lot of problems at his house since he opened up this Dybbuk box. But some of the things that have been going on have really been getting out of hand. Now, I figured since I have a very special gift with talking to spirits through my spirit box that I would go ahead and talk to my guides. And I've already told them to go over there, check on Tim, see what's going on in his house, and then come back here not with the demon. I didn't tell him to bring back, you know, King Paimon or anyone else, but to come back here and maybe give us some answers on what is going on at Tim's house and also maybe how he can get rid of this demon. Is there more than one demon? Is it really a demon that came out of this Dybbuk box? I don't know, but this was not some fake YouTube, hey, let's do a Dybbuk box thing that Tim did. He's had this Dybbuk box for five years. He opened it then. He's open it now. So hang tight. Let's go to the spirit box. It's going to be really loud. I do not believe in editing any of my spirit box sessions out because I found that a lot of weaker spirits sometimes have a hard time talking. And so if I edit that out, then we're going to miss what they say. So it is going to get really noisy. I don't edit it out. Everything's 100% real, 100% raw, and 100% loud, and 100% noise. Um, I will also be using two different types of spirit box. Says I get different results from each one of them, but that way I can kind of, you know, give more of a confirmation of who I'm talking to and and uh, get some better answers for you guys. So let's see what we can find out. This is moving way too much. sci-fi go visit his house and find out what happened with the Dybbuk box what demons what spirits came out of the Dybbuk box all that so 
So, did you guys get a chance to go over to Ken's house? My lamp's moving. Did a bad spirit come out of Tim's divot box? Or was it a demon? If it was a demon, can you say demon for me really loud and clear? Was it the spirit of the woman? That was creepy. What spirit was trapped in Tim's civic box? If there is a demon in Tim's house, what is its name? Oh my gosh, I just heard that. Is there more than one demon in his house? Paymon, that's just creepy. I'm not gonna guess though. I will go back and have and I will review this and I'll also have my military specialist review this. He spent ten years in the military just mm -hmm. reviewing these. How many demons are in Tim's house? woman's name that was on the picture. There was a picture of a woman in the Dybbuk box. What is that woman's name? Was she trapped in there with the demon? Is the Dybbuk box causing Tim's nightmares? The Dybbuk box. Is it what's scaring his dog? Is it what is bothering his dog? Why did the spirit on his spirit box mention Sally House? I need to ask you guys and I really need you to use all your strength and come through as loud and clear as you possibly can please tell me how does Tim get rid of the evil from the box does he bury it does he just need to pass it along what does he do a demon is that what you said Demon. 
demon and everything. What is the demon's name? Tell me the names of all the demons at Tim's house. Oh, my candles are going crazy. That light's starting to move, too. Okay, I'm going to stop this spirit box right now. Okay, that one was getting like a little crazy. Um, and we were starting to get creepy stuff. So let's go ahead. I will set up the other box and see what we can find out from there. Okay, guys. This is the iOS app um, SBX12 spirit box. And I just use the light version. I'm not associated with this. But I really like this because sometimes I can get better results with this, I found. Let's go ahead and, again, prepare for noise because this one gets loud, too. Ethan, are you there? Ethan and E, are you there? Tell me about Tim's Dybbuk box. Is there a demon that came out of it? If there's a demon that came out of Tim's spirit box, what is this demon's name? How does Tim get rid of the evil from the spirit box? Are there other spirits that are attached to Tim and stay with Tim that are bad? Are there any messages you have for me or for Tim so we can help him? Okay, I'm going to let you go. Thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Wow, I heard a lot of really creepy things in those spirit box sessions, but you guys know that I don't like to guess. So I'm going to go back through that. Anything that I hear, I will leave it throughout the video. I will also have my military specialist go through that because we need to get Tim some answers, figure out what's going on, and figure out how he can take care of it. Um, because I'm actually worried about him too and hope he's doing okay. And we need to get him to get whatever is in his house out, whether it be a king demon who rules 200 legions or whatever it may be um, we need to get it taken care of so make sure you check out his channel it is live sci-fi love them he does a lot of cool live streams also if you haven't joined patreon make sure you go check out the patreon it is just www.patreon.com slash enchanted by you and become part of the enchanted by you family i love you guys i hope you're all doing well and leave a comment below let me know if uh, you like talking about all this kind of crazy stuff and what you thought of the video and I will talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye.